I posted it on my IG. And I just, that, I just had that feeling that, look, man, we're not going to lose this game. But I wasn't too confident, but I just had that feeling we're not going to lose this game. But it is what it is. Romero, that evil cannibal werewolf, <laughs> deservedly got that red card. And that was the, the change for me. I have the OG before IG back in the building. Last time he was in London with a 2-2 draw in the London Derby. Today, he's destroyed Tottenham 4-1. Hat trick from Jackson. Even if Tottenham were nine men down, it's still three points. FX, what's popping? Popping, it is. We won, and that's the most important thing. Uh, many people always forget that um, there's history between Chelsea and Spurs, especially when it matters the most. I remember that season, Leicester won the league. Um, they didn't have victory against us, <clears throat> and we disappointed them. I remember Eddie Hazard doing that. Everybody wrote us off. Everybody thought we were going to lose. But I saw one post just before the game started by our former player, Anto Rudiger. You know, and he just posted on his IG, I think, or in his snap. And he just posted a 3 0 um, away victory that Chelsea won that game. And that was in 2021, I believe. You know, that was just two years ago, two seasons ago. And, you know, I posted it on my IG. And I just, that, I just had that feeling that, look, man, we're not going to lose this game. But I wasn't too confident, but I just had that feeling we're not going to lose this game. But it is what it is. Romero, that evil cannibal werewolf, <laughs> deservedly got that red card. And that was the, the change for me. Well, Pochettino going back to his old stomping ground. Pepe then. The greatest sports manager of all time. Hey, <laughs> there was no way he was going to lose this game. <laughs> because he built Spurs. <laughs> right, right, <laughs> right, right. I mean, uh, it, that was why a number of true Chelsea fans were confident of the, in, in uh, the fact that we were going to actually go to this game and at, at least try and get a draw. You know, we didn't expect four goals to one, but Spurs lost their heads. They were Spursy once again. You know, so every now and then they do know how to bottle things and they just did again. They were the only last team left um, unbeaten in the league. And they were coming up against the Chelsea side that were considered really poor, who lost their last game against um, Brentford, uh, who are a better side, by the way. So everybody didn't give Chelsea a chance in this game. But it's Spursy, and sometimes you just know. It's just in their DNA to be useless. Baba, for real. I've always been confident of beating yeah. Chelsea. Call on I'm of beating Spurs. <laughs> Tell me. Keme, uh, Keme, you didn't come to the studio yes. because you knew the beating. That's true. You, Our you. sports fan did not show up to the studio yeah. today. She, she ran. Knew. She knew, she knew. Lucky, she knew. lucky girl. And she went to the bar down the road. Imagine. Saying that she didn't get a notification. You are a liar, Keme. I will catch you. Don't worry. But anyway, I enjoyed the game. I'm good. No problems. Um, um, yeah, 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 yeah. That's I know. So I, I feel, it feels good to actually win in a in a in a derby, especially yep. convincingly. For especially with the tough season you guys have had, it must be like at least a a, a, a breath of fresh air or a relief that you guys got this win over. And I'm not going to lie to you. From what I saw at, at Chelsea and when we played you guys, Arsenal. When we Arsenal played you guys, I saw in the first half, I saw a Chelsea team that could actually be very, very dangerous. Yeah. And we forget that these boys are kids. They have a few experienced players, but these boys are still learning their trade. They're still developing. So it's going to take some time, but we can see that Pochettino, what he's trying to do today. We saw that in the future. And I, I, and I know you've always been a, a believer of Pochettino. You've said it in your Blues Brothers podcast. You've said it from your post-matches and Spurs your monologue on, that you've always been Pochettino. And today... He has proven you right. Absolutely. I mean, um, one thing a lot of us might also forget is that Chelsea hasn't lost any game yet against the big side. You know, we drew against Liverpool at Stamford Bridge. We drew against Arsenal too, which, I mean, can it be? You guys were lucky, you know. And, of course, if not for your experience, we've also drawn now. I'm sorry, we've also beaten Spurs now. I'm, I'm, look, man, we just need to know how to take those teams that 
around us, in the mid-table, and of course below us. That's where the points count. That's how you climb up the table. But for what I'm seeing, this team already has some sort of DNA that Pochettino has created, and we're seeing it we were playing. I saw what we were playing last season. We were horrible. This season, we're playing good football, but not just scoring. This was a very, very crazy game. At two men down with Spurs, two men down, we were still finding it hard to score. Spurs were playing a really high line. We were trying to play the ball, a long ball, but we were struggling, can I be? Eventually, because of tiredness, of course, we got the ball over the line and Jackson was able to score a hat-trick. But this squad is not, this team is not yet there yet. So we should take it easy. <laughs> Shout out to Ryan Sterling, though. I thought he had a very good game today. Raza, Raza. He actually, he actually stepped up and, you know, he's always been a good player against Spurs anyways. Absolutely, absolutely. Even when he was at Man City. So it's a good win for you guys. On to the next. I don't know who you guys have next. Um, I think you guys are playing Man City. City next. Away from home or at home? Mm. At home. Hopefully you guys will win for Arsenal. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs>